one of my favorite games is Dwarf Fortress. If you don't know what Dwarf Fortress is, it's a fantasy world generating game where you make a world, you can start a fortress with seven dwarves for your mountain home, and it just goes crazy from there. Uh, there's probably a better way to explain this, but fuck it. One of the reasons I l- love Dwarf Fortress is because it gave me a story. It's probably the only reason I go back to Dwarf Fortress. And I do get some stories, but sometimes they're not that great or only great when you're in the know. But this story, I think anyone can appreciate. So I was still getting used to the game. I was on maybe my fourth or fifth fortress. Uh, the thing that was eluding me in the game was how to make a military force. Uh, so the purpose of this fort was to make weapons, make people join the military, kill things. Simple as that. So I started out with about four or five dwarves in a little military. They all had their weapons, swords, war hammers. Uh, we had iron and steel being made. Now we just needed things to kill. Well, every now and again, there was this creature that would come, uh, a kobold. If you don't know what a kobold is, it's pretty much a dog humanoid thing. But every now it would come, and then we would chase it away. But it was always faster than my dwarves. So we couldn't catch up, we couldn't kill it. And it kept bothering us, bothering us. It happened about 10 times. Now, the 11th time it happened, I halfway of chasing it, I just fu- said, fuck it. Told my dwarves to go get a drink, be done with it, let the kobold run away. Well, the kobold decided to attack one of the last people to walk back. He uh, bruised his leg, but what happened was the other dwarf was able to attack the kobold, make it stop running. They got into a fight, the other military people came in, we massacred the fucking thing. I was so fucking proud. And the second we killed it, a big message on the screen. Beware the giant blah 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 has come. And on it focused the screen on the giant. So, at the time, I didn't know what a kobold was. I thought maybe it was like a human or something dwarf-like. But no, it's a little tiny little dog thing. But I didn't know that time. So I'm like, I fucking took down this piece of shit creature. I can take down. I can take down a giant. This is easy. I tell my military to go. Everyone but the one guy who got bruised uh, went to go fight the giant. The guy who got bruised went to get a drink or something. Guess show off the little bruise to the women dwarf. So I closed the gate just in case. Now this giant had a weapon. It was a wooden cage. He killed my whole military with the wooden cage. Just smack, 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 dead, dead, dead. There were two survivors, technically. The bruised soldier that was in the fortress. And a woman soldier by the name of, uh, I think I named her Rouge. Now, what the giant has is doing is pretty much smashing the wooden cage... On this, on the woman warrior, she everything's broken. All her vitals are red. She she can't run. She can't move. Uh, it, it's surprising she hasn't bled out right now or died from like brain damage or anything. And just kept, he just kept smashing her. And every time you can check a dwarf's uh, description. And every time you check the dwarf's uh, description, the first thing it would show on the injury list is a broken heart. A broken heart. (sighs) Now, I I knew the game meant uh, the heart was broken physically, like damaged beyond repair. But there was a bit of me that thought uh, we failed her. The giant is barely scratched. 
beating the crap out of her. And what are we doing? We're fucking hiding in our little piece of shit fortress. Well, I decided she was going to die. She was going to die. I, I knew that from the start. So I ignored it for a little while. I started a new military. We got new weapons. Uh, the one, the only surviving soldier uh, became captain and uh, trained the other soldiers. So two seasons go by. It, it's now winter. And the good thing about winter was for this fortress was the trade caravan from our mountain home would come and with them would come trained soldiers to protect their goods. So I'm like, okay, the timing's now. We're going to, the giant is still there. And what? She's still alive? Rouge is still alive. Broken beyond repaired. All red still. Hasn't bled out. It's a fucking miracle. I'm like, it's time. It's time. We can do this. We can do this. We're going to save her. So I get all my soldiers. I send them after her. The trade caravans coming in. And all I was thinking is. We distract the giant. Someone will come and grab Rouge. Put her in the hospital. Patch her up. She'll never walk again. She'll need someone to bring her food for the rest of her life. But she'll be alive. This would be my happy ending. There's no happy ending in Dwarf Fortress. The, the motto for Dwarf Fortress is losing is fun. We were one square away from getting to the giant and the message popped up. Rouge has died from bleeding out. At this stop point, I stopped caring. I I was distressed. I I thought, I I honestly thought I I, I could save her, kill the giant, be done with it. Well... I did pay a little bit of attention to the fight. Now, because the giant kept beating on Rouge over and over trying to kill her, he was tired, exhausted. So my military people were able to kill it, though we did lose everyone but one soldier. The military that came with the traitors didn't fucking help because, well, fuck us, right? Ah. I really regret not being a skilled player at the time. I could have set up a special burial spot for all the soldiers, made gold coffins, done all these nice stuff. But no, we put them in stone coffins, called it a night, and the one soldier that lived was the bruised soldier, and he no longer cared for life, he, which made him an excellent soldier. But he didn't care anymore. I forget how that fortress ended. I might have just quit after that. We, I probably flooded the place. I was bad with water. <laughs> but I will always remember this story. And this is the reason I will always go back to Dora Fortress. Because there's a story there that you can create yourself. Thanks. Thanks.